Hey guys, this is Dr. Sandy with another exciting video for you and your family and friends. Today I'm going to be talking about how to keep your spine healthy when working from a desk. Uh, and this applies to people who are on site, if you work from home, um, if you just sit for a long period of time, maybe you're on the phone driving, whatever it is, but anyone who sits throughout their day, um, this would apply to them. And I really do hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please like, share and subscribe as always. I'm also going to say another thing. If you wait till the end of the video, I'm going to talk about a giveaway. Uh, I've been making these videos for some time now, and I just want to say thank you to all the people who are watching, all the people who are subscribed and who like our videos and all that good energy. So I'm going to have a giveaway, uh, which I'll talk about at the end. So make sure you stay till the end till you, uh, so you can hear about that. So what we're going to talk about is uh, people who work from a desk. Now, I would probably say, as far as I know, that in the past couple of years, probably uh, the most number of people we've ever had working from home um, at a desk than in probably in history. Um, and even now what we're seeing is uh, some people are still going to stay home. Some people are starting to go back on site. A lot of people are doing kind of a hybrid model, but we have a ton of people who are just sitting for most of their day, uh, which is fine. They obviously need to get the work done, but we also know that if you are sitting for a long period of time, what that does, it really takes a toll on the posture. And before I go any further, why is your posture important? And as a chiropractor, I can tell you we are obsessed with people having good, healthy posture, feeling their best. Why? So the brain is sitting here. You have your spine. When the posture is the way it should be, what's going to happen is you'll not only feel good, you are going to have improved function. So what that means is that clarity of thought, you can think better, you're breathing better, you're going to have more energy, digestion, like all major systems just seem to work better when we have better posture. But if we're constantly for hours and hours and hours, just constantly in that position, it's going to accelerate the aging process. It's going to accelerate the aging of the spine, which will affect function in the body. So if we know this is a positive, the negative would be it's harder to focus. Breathing capacity is getting affected. Dig indigestion may actually start. You're not going to break down the food the way you should. You'll probably feel more tired. You'll definitely get aches and pains, more chance for inflammation, more chance for injury. Um, and a lot of this can be prevented with some very simple tips. So let's go over it. And you know, you might be there going, yeah, I kind of know this stuff, but I think it's good to revisit it, to hear it. Um, and to jump back into some things that you know you should be doing. So let's get into it. So uh, number one, your workspace. So your area and regardless if you're on site or at home, you should have an area that you enjoy working in that is clean, that's well lit as much as you can. Now, if you're by a window, that's great. Maybe you can't be by a window. Okay, that's fine. How do we maximize it? How can we do something with the lighting? That environment should be an environment where you thrive, where you can think clearly. You should look excited to going there as much as possible. So think about your work area. Um, what are the smells? What are the sights? What are you hearing? What are things you can do to enhance it? Um, so I want you to think about that. Uh, the actual desk itself, you know, uh, and the chair. Is it comfortable? The desk, is it at the right height? You know, if we are seven to eight hours a day like this, on a computer and we're hunched over because the chair isn't right, the desk isn't right, computer's not at the right level, you know that's gonna cause breakdown, you know that's gonna cause pain in the body, so we can't be like that. So look at the desk, look at the chair. And then also another thing is how are the distractions? Like are you able to focus, and this is probably especially for people from working from home, um, are you able to get your work done or is there just a lot of distraction? Like. And again, I mean, I'm making the suggestion, maybe like, oh, okay, I like the distraction. I like hearing all the sounds. I mean, I get it. If you can do that, that's awesome. But I mean, is there an area that it's quiet, it's focused, you can do good quality work? Maybe, you know, all that work you're doing over such a long span of time, if you had a few hours of just quiet, focused time, you'd be much more productive, you know? So something to consider. And even with desks now, a lot of people are looking at desks where, uh, they're sitting, but they also have the ability to rise. So it kind of mixes it up throughout the day. And from what I've seen, the body likes variation. So if you can look into something like that, that might be uh, something to consider. Um, another thing I would say as well is that you need to hydrate. You need to drink water uh, throughout the day. It's good for the spine. It's good for the body. Everything works better. I mean, if see, now start to look at this picture. So imagine someone is not caring for their body, not caring for their spine, not stretching, 
and then they're at work, so they're in the wrong position, they're eating a lot of uh, processed foods, uh, a lot of high inflammation foods, now they're drinking tons of coffee or tea throughout the day, maybe a lot of sodas and pop and not drinking water. So now we have poor mechanics, now we have poor nutrition, and then it becomes quite obvious why problems would de develop and we can avoid these things. So let's have that good postures to help the mechanics and then let's drink water throughout the day. And if you're someone who says, maybe I don't like to drink water, maybe you can add your favorite fruit or maybe a cucumber, lemon, whatever that looks like, but have water throughout the day. And the system I'm gonna to suggest to you is that if you can, and we're not going for perfection, wherever you wanna start with, but every hour, if you can try to stretch, Every, every hour, maybe take a sip of water, drink some water, um, start to incorporate these habits. Now, I'm gonna go over some of the best stretches for people who are using a computer, they're on a desk all day. So the best ones I'd probably say, really the neck is obviously getting a lot of pressure when we're using computer for a long period of time. So my best recommendation would be a stretch where you have the hands behind you and you can do this while you're seated or if you stand if you choose. Um, obviously, I want you to feel comfortable. And then what you're going to do is just have the head go back. That's a great one and probably one of the most important ones. And if you're very short on time, at least if you can do this, we're doing the opposite of what we've been doing all day. So having the head go all the way back, looking straight, looking at the ceiling, if you can go further, even great. And as I do this, if you're really doing it properly, you should feel a stretch on the neck. You should be feeling a stretch on the chest. Hands going back seems to give you more leverage. You can really feel that. I love that one. Uh, the other one you should be doing is rotation. Now you can do a simple rotation like this. Always see what you feel comfortable with. Uh, the other thing you can do, again, hands in the back, and then we can just rotate as far as possible. And what I've actually seen is if you want to really rotate well, I should be rotating with the neck, and I would actually rotate the pelvis as well. So I'm going to really get a full body rotation. I mean, I'm feeling this through my whole spine. We're obviously going to do both sides. Uh, the other one I would recommend as well is the tilt so we're just gonna go like this again hands in the back i love that it really just seems to go further if you can't handle that then just you know have the hands in the front but if you want something more advanced hands in the back very gently there's no rush whatsoever and we're just going to go side to side and if we want to enhance that we can actually have our arm also be added and this is really simple stuff now everyone's gonna oh, i don't have time i don't have time and i hear this from my patients so your objective is at least as a bare minimum, twice a day, you're doing some kind of stretches, ideally even once an hour. How long should you hold these stretches for? I would even say if you can do um, 30 seconds would be great. But let's say you're just like, I don't even have, I don't think I can even do that. I would literally just have your head go back. I would literally have you tilt and literally just do one second. If that's all we can do, if that's the only time you have, something is better than nothing. Um, so you might be like the person who does it every hour, but it's very short, or you might be the person who only does it twice a day, but it's longer. See what works for you. Maybe it even depends on the day you're having. Maybe there's days where you have more time. There's days you don't have time. So if you could do that, that would be great. Now for the lower back, um, while you're seated, what you can do, the simplest thing is that if this is the desk over here, if you could stand up and the desk is there, putting the hands there and then obviously just being careful with your head, but just leaning forward and just doing this is really gonna open up the lower back. And then on top of that, you guys probably already know how to do this, but doing a lunge. So, you know, maybe getting against the wall and just leaning against the wall and what you can see on the video, but I'm just kind of switching my legs up, but we're just gonna go over there. Just really simple, even more simple. You're just like this, and then you can just kind of reach forward. You try to touch your toes, again, whatever you're comfortable with. I think another good one, because most of our day we've been this way, um, and I showed it kind of with the neck, but there's no harm in doing this one, but a lot of extension, a lot of going back. So this is good for my neck. This is good for the mid back. This is good for the low back, because most of my day I've been on a computer, I'm doing this. You always want to think, okay, if I've been this way, what is the opposite way I should be stretching? What are the other muscle groups I want to be using? So if you can do that, it will really help relax the body. And those would be some powerful stretches to help you. So again, don't even get caught up in like, you know, am I doing it right or whatever, obviously be comfortable, but just do them, just practice them. Um, that's basically what we're looking for. I think another thing I would also stress to you as well, and it depends what kind of work you have. I talk to my patients about this, but 
as best you can and sometimes there's deadlines and sometimes you got to launch a new product or launch a new service and you're like oh we just got to get this done and i get that but try to have a start time and end time and i'm saying this especially for people who work from home because it's nice to work from home but in a way you're kind of always connected and there's always something to do and again if there's an emergency or if you're in a type of work you're like you know dr sandy i just got to get this done okay that's fine but try to have a start time and end time uh, and I know it's convenient and you're plugged in uh, and maybe professionally, even if you could talk to your colleagues and say, hey, guys, like I'll do the work. I know we had a big deadline, but, you know, I have a start time and end time. Why this is valuable, I believe, in my opinion, this will prevent burnout. We need to have boundaries. We need to say this is when I start. This is when I finish. If it's a real emergency once in a while, I get it. But if you have that capacity and then if you're like, you know, we have very urgent work, Dr. Sandy, you know, it's just there's always something going on. Maybe come up with a system to say, OK, for this week. I'll handle the emergencies, but uh, so and so for the next week will like come up with a schedule, come up with a calendar schedule, or okay, if there's emergencies, these people will handle it, and just come up with a team solution so everyone can benefit. Because I want you to be uh, working from home doing it, but I want you to be healthy as well. And sometimes that laptop, you know, the cell phones are ringing, and there's just no end to it. It can just kind of burn you out, and of course, we never want that. Um, so those would be my major tips for you guys. Uh, whether you're working from home, whether you're on site, whether it's a hybrid model, if you can implement this, it'll really make a big difference. Uh, you're obviously going to be much happier and feeling better. So having said all that good stuff, um, we are in the month of June. It's 2022. And um, we really want to celebrate. Obviously, moms are incredible, incredible. Uh, but, you know, fathers do a lot as well. Um, they're partners and like, helping with the kids and contributing and doing all that good stuff. So for this month, we're saying that if you know anyone who is a father, who's obviously busy and helping with the kids and all that good stuff and helping the house, um, if you know anyone who has uh, a father who you know maybe has some back pain, has some neck pain, has some numbness, tingling, they're just not feeling right. You know, the body's, it's kind of breaking down. They're not feeling as strong. We'd love to invite them for a consultation. So if you can contact our office, at 905-896-3393. You can visit our website at www.gopowerflow.com. Maybe you have some questions, um, anything like, you know, Dr. Sandy, do you, do you guys deal with these kind of cases? I get those questions a lot. People will say, hey, I wanna send someone to you, Dr. Sandy, but I'm not sure, this, is this a chiropractic thing or not? And, and I always do my best, you know, uh, we do help a lot of people. There's certain people who contact us and I just don't think chiropractic may be the best option at this time, maybe in the future, so we'll give them other options. So. We'll do our best, but we're here to really help everyone. But for the month of June, we're focusing on fathers and dads because we know uh, they work hard and they need to be healthy so they can be there for the family. Now on to the juicy part. So um, if you're watching this, obviously, and I hope you're enjoying the video as well, they've been watching some time. So I'm going to be having a giveaway contest. And what we're going to do is on Monday, June 27th, I'll announce the winner. So if you like, share, subscribe, you know, just leave a comment or whatever, um, we'd like to give this away. So this is a Google Nest Hub. Um, you can use this as an alarm clock. You can watch videos. You can ask Google questions. Uh, it's a really cool technology and we're giving it away. So how do you win this? It's really simple. Just like, share, subscribe, leave a comment just saying, you know, Dr. Sandy, I'd love to win that Google Nest Hub. Um, we use Google products. We love them. Um, and it's just a, it's just a way for me to say thank you for watching and subscribing. And it, it means a lot to me when I see people who are um, getting value. I like when patients like, <laughs> I gotta be honest, I try my best to, you know, make a new video every Monday. Sometimes I miss it and I'll have a patient come up to me, Hey, Dr. Sandy, you didn't make a video this weekend. I'm like, wow, like people are watching, they're learning, you know, and they're asking me questions when they watch the video. So I just wanted to give back and say thank you. So, uh, if you'd like to get a free, um, Google Nest Hub, all you need to do again is just like, share, and subscribe. Um, again, I, I hope in the bigger picture, I know I'm saying thank you, but I, I do hope these videos are really helping you. Uh, just so you'd like to win this. Hopefully, you know, you're the winner. I'm going to wish everyone, sorry, uh, good luck. And um, all the best. I'll be here next Monday, and thank you so much.